Okay guys, it's me the teacher night. I want every single one of you to behave for me. Please. Okay, Kathleen. I will try to be on my best behavior. Good. You can take Ryan and I'll take Emma. Ah, uh, Brian. Come on in. Hello, Mr. Reynolds. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Reynolds. My name is Dave Johnson. Hello, Dave. Nice to meet you. Your son Brian is doing well in my English class. Yes, I've been getting a lot of A's in my essays, exams, and homework. Good job, Brian. Brian has been student of the month for the last two months since school began. He's a very smart and very generous individual. Awesome job, buddy. Hi, Brian. What's up? Nurse Tess, this is my dad. Hello, Nurse Tess. My name is Dave Johnson. Ah, uh, okay, you're Brian's dad. She's the one who sent me home when I had the chicken pox last year. Oh, who doesn't remember that? Hey, Nurse Tess, do you have any Barney bad aids? Um, aren't you too old for Barney? Well, come on, Nurse Tess, you got to have some Barney bad aids somewhere. Like I said, you're too old for Barney. Why do you need a Barney Band-Aid? Because I like Barney. He's my favorite character. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have any Barney Band-Aids. What? Why not? Ugh, do I have to explain it to you again? You're a grown man. Damn it, not this again. Why? I want a Barney Band-Aid. This is so unfair. Oh god, this is awkward. Of all the years I've been a school nurse, I never thought I would see a grown man have a temper tantrum over a Barney Band-Aid. But Nurse Tess, you have to have Barney Band-Aids somewhere. Please, just search for them. You know that, the kids in this school are too old for Barney the Dinosaur, so man up and accept the fact that you can't have a Barney Band-Aid. I want 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 a Barney Band-Aid. Dave, I would suggest you stop your childish behavior or else you leave the nurse's office right now. No. I beg your pardon? You heard me, you entitled Karen. I will not leave until you give me a Barney Band-Aid. Dad, you are being an absolute child right now. Nurse Tess wants you to stop right now. Listen here, you are too old for a Barney Band-Aid. My son grew out of it and he's 14. No, you listen to me. Give me my fucking Barney Band-Aid right now or I will sue you in court. Come on, Dave. For the last time, you're too old for Barney. Wow. <laughs> You want Barney Van Dyke. You want Tabarney 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 Van Dyke. Oh Jesus Christ, why did I even allow you to come in? Well, you know what? Until you behave like a mature adult, I have no choice but to send you out of this office. No, please don't send me out. I'll be fine without the Barney Band Aid. Why? Well, I'm sorry, Dave, but until you grow up, you are not allowed back in the school and that's final. Go right now and once you act mature, I may reconsider my decision. I'm sorry about my dad. He tends to behave like this a lot. Don't worry about it, Brian. I'll see you tomorrow. God, what a weirdo. What was I thinking? Dave, why are you crying? Oh wait, never mind. Brian had told me about your childish behavior in front of Nurse Tess. Well, I was upset because she didn't have any Barney Band-Aids. You see, Dave, this is why you need to stop being childish. You embarrassed yourself in front of your son's school nurse. I'm very upset with you. Get to our room right now and do not come out. Wow, 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 w